this video, we're learning how to convert metric units. So if you look at the top of our screen, we are going to have this phrase that's going to help us when we're converting metrics. So the phrase is, King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. And each word in our phrase stands for a different metric prefix. So if you look, king stands for kilo, henry stands for hecto, doesn't stands for deca, usually stands for unit, which is in yellow because the unit can be grams, liters, or meters. Drink stands for deci, chocolate stands for centi, and milk stands for milli. So I'm going to show you guys how we can use this chart when we're converting metric units. And typically in school, we don't really deal with hecto, deca, and deci. For, so for this video, we're just going to look at kilo, um, unit, centi, and milli. And we're going to convert between those different units. So if we take a look at example one, we have four meters is equal to some number of millimeters. So what we're going to do is this chart is going to help tell us how many times we have to move our decimal point and in which direction. So we're starting with meters. So we're starting here. And we want to go to millimeters. So we want to go over here. So now we have to see, using our chart, how many times do we have to move our decimal point and in which direction. To get from meters to milli, we have to go one, two, three places to the right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the decimal point in our original number, and I'm going to rewrite it as 4.0 since it doesn't have a decimal point. We're going to move it three places to the right. We're going to go one, two, three. It's going to end up here. We're going to fill in these spots with zeros. So we get that four meters is equal to 4,000 millimeters. And now I'm going to erase what I just wrote so that we can use our chart for the next one. And I'll fill this in with meters again since I accidentally erased that. So for number two, we have 52.6 grams is equal to how many kilograms? So we're going from our unit of grams all the way to kilograms over here. So we have to see how can we get from grams to kilograms? Well, we go one, two, three units to the left this time. So what we're going to do is I'm going to rewrite our number, 52.6. And now I want to move my decimal point three places to the left. So I'm going to go one, two, three. It's going to end up here. We're going to fill this in with a zero. So we get that 52.6 grams is equal to 0 0.0526 kilograms. Let's go through some more examples. So in example three, we have 7.5 centimeters and we want to convert it into millimeters. So we're going from centi to milli. So to get from centi to milli, we just want to move one spot to the right. So we want to move the decimal point in our original number one place to the right. So it's going to end up here. So we get that 7.5 centimeters is equal to 75 millimeters. Taking a look at example four, let's just erase this. We have 48 kiloliters and we want to switch it into liters. So we're going from kilo to our unit of liters. And to get from kilo to liters, we have to go one, two, three places to the right. So I'm going to rewrite 48 as 48.0. So you just add a decimal point all the way to the right. And now I want to move my decimal point three places to the right. So I'm going to go one, two, three. My decimal point ends up here. We fill in the missing spots with zeros. So we get that 48 kiloliters is equal to 48,000 liters. Let's work through some more examples. Taking a look at example five, we have 325,000 milligrams and we want to go to grams. So we want to go from milli to our unit of grams. So we need to move one, two, three places to the left. So what we want to do is rewrite our original number of 35,000, place a decimal point all the way to the right. I'll just add a zero after. And now I want to move my decimal point three places to the left. So I'm going to go one, two, three. It ends up here. So we get 325 grams is equal to 325,000 milligrams. Moving on to example six, let's just erase this. We have 6.82 liters and we want to go to kiloliters. So this time we're starting at liters. 
and we want to go to Kilo. So we're going to have to move one, two, three places to the left. So I'm going to rewrite 6.82, and now I need to move my decimal point one, two, three places to the left, fill in the missing spots with zeros, so I get that 6.82 liters is equal to 0 0.00682 kiloliters. Let's go through two more examples just to make sure we really understand this. For these last two examples, I encourage you guys to pause the video and try them on your own, and then you can watch me work through them to make sure that you've solved them correctly. So example seven, we want to convert 92 centimeters to meters. So we're going from centi to our unit of meters. So we need to move one, two places to the left. So I'm going to rewrite 92 as 92.0 and move my decimal point one, two places to the left. So I get that 92 centimeters is equal to 0 0.92 meters. And finally, taking a look at our last example, we have three kilometers and we want to change it into centimeters. So we're starting at kilo and we have to go all the way to centi. So we have to move one, two, three, four, five spaces to the right. So I'm going to start by rewriting three as 3.0. And now I want to move my decimal point five places to the right. So one, two, three, four, five. Our decimal point ends up here. We fill in the blank spots with zeros. So we get that three kilometers is equal to 300,000 centimeters. So hopefully this video helped you guys understand metric conversions a little bit better. You just have to remember this phrase, King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk.